So Steve, why do you collect lamps? Um, they represent uh, so much history in our world. Um, even though Coleman is a, uh, an American-based manufacturer and, and eventually Canada, one of the primary things they always did and had was uh, uh, an export market. So they literally exported so many gas pressure devices that ran on liquid fuel, i.e. white gas or kerosene. They exported them all over the world, um, the Middle East, uh, South America, uh, Asian countries, everywhere. And of course, you know, the Germans and the Swiss did the same type of thing, but the uh, Coleman really made a statement. Uh, they had several uh, appliances that were specifically made for the military throughout World War II, all the way up into the Vietnam era. And uh, they were made. Uh, every type of thing to, from a battlefield sterilization stove to a GI cook stove to uh, a lamp that they could use at, in, you know, wherever they were in the field. Um, so th there's, there's a tremendous uh, amount of different situations that Coleman saw the need for uh there was always other manufacturers that fell by the wayside and you know they're the, the stuff that they produce is actually very desirable as well however coleman became the mainstay for gas pressure appliance oh. and they 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 have uh you know even for uh just regular uh rural living they had table lamps, they had hanging chandeliers. Uh, they created wonderful, beautiful, artistic glass shades that would go on the lamps. Oh. Um, they, they continuously came up with other styles uh, just to, to, to make them more appealing. You know, they, they were very beautiful. And, but they just, they were quite genius with, uh, everything that they made um and it, obviously they uh refined manufacturing over the years and then then it you know the the later in production you got uh, up until today they, they they weren't as good a quality they still do the same type of thing but the old stuff uh represents a huge part of world history um and there's always a story that goes along with any given piece. Um, I have a countertop cook stove from the early 30s that I'm one of like four people in the world that has one that's mm. known of. Mm. Um, and it's very interesting. And, and I don't just collect them and look at them. I use everything I have. Uh, I, I, I refurbish it. I make it work and um, I pick a, a, a time and, uh, a, a, you know, some reason to take it out, set it up and uh, light it. I cook on the stoves. I will, I can, I'll light several lanterns just to create an aviance around the yard or at my cabin or anywhere. And uh, it's very enjoyable. And the camaraderie with the other collectors around the country and the world uh, is just amazing. You, you make the best friends because you all share a common thread. Excellent. And it's people from every walk of life. Mm. All the way from a person that ha has little means to do anything, but they found a lantern and made it work all the way up to doctors, lawyers, policemen, everybody. And when I have my event here, we're all one thing in common. We're collectors. Everything else is irrelevant. And we share this bond and this passion for something that is just amazing. Uh, the evenings are just full of light. Uh, we call it friendship through the light. And we live it. 
Uh, and uh, it's been a great experience for the past 12 or 14 years. It's just been amazing uh, the things that you're exposed to. Um, you know, Coleman really hit it. And, and, and I don't think Coleman ever foresaw the future to today's time uh, that people would actually start digging up all these old lanterns and finding them in old barns, estate sales, refurbishing, uh, creating collector groups. Uh, it kind of created a resurgence in vintage camping. Mm. It, it's like the cherry on the Sunday when you have a vintage Coleman in a campground. Um, one of the biggest times for Coleman was right after World War II. Uh, the GIs came home to, to their families and they wanted to see the country that they defended. They, they wanted to see this great vast land. And so they hopped in the car with a Coleman lantern, a Coleman stove, a tent, and some bedrolls. And they traveled the country with their family and camped. <laughs> and it, it's just such a, a, a cool, really, really nice thing uh, to be a part of. And, and, and to revitalize. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, fortunately for me, I have a, a vast collection and uh, I have a-, a <laughs> How many? A, a, How many? I have, well, I'm, I'm gonna say north of 600 and that's not counting stoves. I probably have a hundred stoves. hundred um, stoves. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have, I have a whole collection of stoves. But uh, yeah, it's- uh, you know, and, and it's fun. I mean, it, you know, it's, you get a lot of satisfaction of taking an old cast iron pan, putting it on a Coleman cook stove, and making this wonderful breakfast, you know, or using a smaller uh, Coleman stove with a coffee pot and making your morning coffee at a campground. There's just something about that aroma and all that, just the, the whole essence of the thing it just it, it's the most peaceful nice thing you can do um it, it really it gives you a lot of center i mean you, you uh you kind of forget about the the rest of the world for a while and just enjoy the most basic of things so uh, that's where i'm at with it it seems to fit my personality quite well <laughs> so. i like it thanks man 